It was Sean Weiss who played Goldberg the goalie in the movie Mighty Ducks after his arrest last year in Marysville on burglary charges while high on meth. This is Weiss today celebrating one year sober. After multiple members of the original cast from the Mighty Ducks would face hardships, arrests, and following their big break in the 90s. Obviously in the wrong hood. This is my dominion. It is a drug-free zone, you understand? Yeah, man, that's right. We ain't buying nothing. After the Mighty Ducks would release the original D2, D3, and then would make a comeback in 2021 with the Mighty Ducks Game Changers. Okay, that's why we watch game tape to get better. If you were a kid growing up in the 90s or just a hockey fan in general, well, one of your all time favorite films or VHSs, it's gotta be The Mighty Ducks. I mean, the films even inspired a real world NHL team, although I don't think any team in the big lead ever tried pulling out the flying V, you know? I tried it with my friends, it never worked. Yeah, no, that's, that's a spoiler alert. It's the Flying V, led by Jesse Hall. Now, some of the actors that appeared in the original series, well, they've had run-ins with the law, including Jesse Spilett. Now, he made headlines in 2019 for a fake racial attack that happened in Chicago. And then there's a tragic tale of Sean Weiss, who most remember as Goldberg. As recent as 2015, he was a YouTuber and stand-up comic, and we dug up a bunch of old clips. Take a look. The truth is, my, my mother, where she kind of threw me into acting. She made me see a, a manager when I was six years old. And apparently, if you're a kid and you're a smart ass, people take that for talent. Following that recording, well, things took a turn for the worse for Sean. He was arrested in 2017, 2018, and 2020 for petty theft. There was also burglary, and he was on some pretty scary substances. He looks really different. Uh, yeah. Like, really different. That's not the type of diet you want to be on. Not at all. This hammer and knock the window out. Lou Binninger says he found the former child actor in his Marysville garage Sunday morning, inside of his car. For the most part, most members of the Mighty Ducks stayed on the straight and narrow and continued to work in the entertainment industry. This includes Emilio Estevez. Emilio! 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 I was like, Emilio! <laughs> <laughs> The Mighty Ducks, man, I swear to God. <laughs> now, not everyone knows this, but Emilio, he's actually brothers with Charlie Sheen. He's also the son of iconic film and TV actor Martin Sheen. Just two years ago, a bunch of members from the original cast got together to drop a puck at the 2019 Anaheim game. Some of them I remember, some of them. But others, we had no idea who the hell they yeah, were. I, yeah, some of them are unrecognizable. Daniel Tamborelli, who played Tommy Duncan. And Vasilis Shannon, who played Russ Tyler's brother. With the release of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers, we decided to take a look back at what your favorite members of the 90s team have been up to in today's Where Are They Now? My name, of course, is Marlon Palmer. My name, of course, you know, it is uh, uh, Roger uh, Lodge from Blind Date. Okay, that works. Recent drops in the series include the dark side of fame for the boys of Jackass, and we're working on a piece for Tila Tequila. So be sure to let us know who to feature next in the comments down below. And let's get into the video. Also, slap that like button if you're happy that there's two of us. Slap that shit. Mm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Emilio! <laughs> off with Coach Bombay, played by Emilio Estevez. The Mighty Ducks, man, I swear to God. <laughs> and who do you think that guy was? Emilio Estevez, the Mighty Duck Man, I swear to God. Now in the initial film, it was a DUI that resulted in Coach Bombay having to do some charity work and take on the scrappy underdog team to please the courts. Now a dude with a criminal record hanging out with a bunch of minors is probably a premise Disney would be avoiding in 2020's <laughs> cancel culture. But those were different times. Better times. Better times. Better times. I guess it was a little noisy. A little? Okay, I'm taking you down to precinct. Breath, blood, or urine? No thanks, I'm full. While Estevez has continued to act, appearing on his dad's show, West Wing, and his brother's show, Two and a Half Men, it appears he's been much more focused on directing in recent years. He both wrote and directed the Kennedy assassination drama, Bobby, as well as a drama, The Public, about the people who live and work around the Los Angeles Public Library. Speaking with Collider, Emilio has this to say, I made a choice to step out of mainstream movies and start directing and producing independence. I've been in that independent film world wilderness, if you will, for the last 25 years. In the rebooted franchise, well, 
Coach Bombay, he's down on his luck and living in a skating rink. So although Emilio has been doing fine and dandy, well his character is apparently going through some stuff. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't go all Charlie Sheen on these new kids. Just never go Charlie Sheen. Ever! Not full Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Winning. 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 We might need to do a where are they now on that guy. He's very interesting. All right, let's move on. Joshua Jackson played Charlie Conway, the unofficial team leader of the Ducks. Although he wasn't the most skilled player on the team, he would frequently miss important shots. But spoiler alert, he scored the championship winning goal from a penalty shot in overtime in the first film. So that was, he made up for it. That, that made my childhood. That scene. Let's take a look. Triple Deek. According to his website, well, Joshua, he's appeared in over 30 films over the course of his career. Now, most recently, he starred as Cole Lockhart on the Showtime drama, The Affair. Now, before that, he starred in hit shows, Fringe, and of course, there was Dawson's Creek. Now, the dude, he killed it in Cruel Intentions, as well as The Skulls. And uh, if you go over to his Instagram, where he's got half a million followers, yeah. well, the guy's got a pretty smoking hot wife. Yeah. And you make it. No, no one saw that coming. <laughs> Keenan Thompson wasn't in the original film, but he was cast as Russ at D2, the street hockey player who helped save the day with the knuckle puck, man. It's knuckle puck time. He was too tough for me, but good character. It's knuckle puck time. He winds up. He scores. He scores. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. In 2003, he would join the cast of SNL where he's been for what feels like forever. Are we like 18 years? Yeah, yeah he's been killing it. That's gotta be some kind of record. Eldon Henson, who played Reed Nelson, was an introvert who was recruited for the team after his powerful slap shot broke through Gordon's car window. Eldon starred as Foggy Nelson in the Netflix's original series Daredevil, where he plays the best friend and legal partner of the main character, Matt Murdock. He was also part of the Hunger Games franchise and killed it in his role for the butterfly effect. He too is also back for the Mighty Ducks Game Changers, so just enjoy that nostalgia, will you? Matt Doherty, he played Averman, who spent most of the movie making jokes instead of actually playing any hockey. Well, you remember this. Averman! It's hockey. There's no batter. After graduating with a degree in theater from Northwestern University in 1999, well, he remained in the entertainment industry, appearing in Grey's Anatomy, Bones, CSI Miami, and even a small role in Ben Affleck's Argo. He's also back for the uh, the Game Changers TV series, so good for him. There was also Brandon Adams, who played outspoken character Jesse Hall, who called everyone a cake eater. Even today, I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. I'd like say welcome, cake eater. Brandon went on to play Kenny DeNunez in The Sandlot and guest starred on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Sister Sister, and Boy Meets World. Things seem to have slowed down for him in Hollywood in recent years, but you can catch him on his Instagram where he has 20,000 followers. I think he just got like a Rolls Royce, so he's doing all he's right. He's living nice. Now, Jesse Smollett, he played Terry Hall, Jesse Hall's younger brother. Though he was less outspoken than his older brother, he wasn't afraid to call out Gordon Bombay when he had to. Now, Jesse has had a lifelong career in show business, having appeared in countless TV shows and films. It wasn't until 2019 that he would become a household name, but for all the wrong reasons, when he apparently faked an attack on himself in hopes that all the media attention would boost his celebrity, thus his earning potential while working on the show Empire. I believe you made a video about this back in 2019, like a 12 minute clip. Yeah, I've made videos on everyone. Let's, 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 let's take a look. It looked like Jesse was about to get all the publicity any star could ever hope for. And it looked like he had a story that all of America could root for. But as the story kept developing, new details would emerge about Jesse's involvement in planning the attack. All right, so this brings us to the man in the thumbnail. We're talking about Sean Weiss or Greg Goldberg. He's the Ducks goalie who was afraid of being hit by the puck, but uh, yeah, I don't know how you get that guy to be the goalie. He was kind of like the comedic relief. Anyway, he was a good kid. <laughs> Today you will become a man. Coach, I think you got the ceremonies mixed up. It's more like a circumcision. Coach, will you come back here? Whatever I do to you, man. Sean also appeared in the movie Heavyweights and booked roles in the TV series Mr. Rhodes, the Tony Danza Show, and Freaks and Geeks. Since those 90s titles, he has mainly played small roles in B comedies, and then things started to really slow down. But we did find a clip of his stand up. And I was five years old, and like she wouldn't look up and look at me. So finally I go, Are you gonna? with those paper clips or pay attention to me and she went this kid's a star in 2013 he was accused of punching his ex-girlfriend and trying to pee on her then in 2014 uh well he launched the kickstarter campaign to fund back on the map now, this was a comedy tour documentary in hopes of relaunching his career 
Now this time as a stand-up comedian. The campaign was unsuccessful and only raised $210 out of the $21,000 goal by the 2014 deadline. When that didn't work out, he tried again with another series inspired by Curb Your Enthusiasm titled Why Not Weiss? Take a look. This guy makes a reality show about himself. This in order to become famous again. Tries to revive his career by making his own reality show about himself. Now, fortunately, this too ended up going nowhere, and in August of 2017, well, Sean, he was arrested for alleged possession of methamphetamine. He was also arrested for public intoxication in August 2018, despite having spent some time in a rehab facility. He was arrested once again in 2020 for residential burglary and being under the influence of a controlled substance, allegedly methamphetamine. Now, during this time, he was dealing with a slew of life-threatening issues and living on the streets. Now, here Here's a clip of a homeowner describing what had happened when they discovered Sean, well, they had broken into his car. When I say they, I meant shh, he, but Sean was talking to himself, so it's like two people. <laughs> yeah, basically. He was talking, he was having a conversation with himself or with whatever else he was thinking about. Investigators believe he was high on meth when he broke in. In the time since, we are happy to report that Sean has been sober for over a year. A close friend named Drew Gallagher set up the fundraising page to help Sean get clean and urge people to chip in to help out. Enough money was raised to afford Sean to get his teeth replaced, which had rotted away due to his drug use. And in a recent TMZ report, Sean revealed that although he didn't get a call for the reboot, he's hopeful they will come around and include him in season two. That's kind of like Bam with Jackass right now. Same wow. issue. Totally. Now we're happy to see Goldberg getting himself back on his feet and we hope the fine folks at Disney, well they can reconsider allowing him to make an appearance. You can imagine like being in that movie, it's kind of like your identity for the rest of your life. Yeah. And how can it move on without you? I'm sure that's just crushing him. So let's, uh, let's all hope for the best and hope they get him involved. As for the rest of the story, well I think we're gonna wrap this one up here because this is Where Are They Now? Yeah, my name is of course Marlon Palmer. My name is uh, Roger Lodge. <laughs> and we read all your comments, so please keep them coming for who to feature next in the comments below. Follow us on Instagram at Before They're Famous, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boom! Bye!